Hello and welcome to another Klez Hunt Horn tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to set up your own PHP web server. So, firstly, what you'll need to do is download the latest distribution of Fedora from fedoraproject.org uh, and that will come down as an ISO. You either need to burn that to a disk or if you're using a virtual machine like I am, you need to mount it in their virtual drive. So, presuming you've done that and you've put your disk in the drive or mounted your ISO, make sure it's set to boot from CD and this is what you'll have. So, turn your PC on and wait for it to load. Yep, we want to install Fedora. We don't want to check the disk for errors. Click next, select your language and select your country. OK, so click the edit button and uncheck enable IP version 6 support as we probably won't be using that. Uh, and you can type a name for your web server. I'm going to be really creative and just call it web server. In the gateway you need to type your router's IP address and then you can click next. Uh, here you need to select your time zone. There we go and click next. And now we need to create a root password. Root is the overall top level user for a Linux system so it's the most important user. You really want to have a very secure password not a dictionary password for this user account. Uh, I'm setting mine something pretty insecure at the moment but if you're going to run it as a live web server you definitely need it secure. So now we want to select the layout for our partitions on our Linux file system. So we'll just select the defaults and write the changes to the disk. Okay, so now we are going to choose what sort of server or Fedora installation this is going to be. Uh, we don't want Office and Productivity because we're not going to be doing too much text editing and things like that on here. Um, so we're going to uncheck Office and Productivity and check Web Server instead as that is what we want it to run. Um, we'll click Customize now so we can customize our choices a little bit further. Click Next. So that is fine, so go to applications and scroll down and we want to uncheck sound and video as we won't be using those. Click development, scroll down again and you want to check web development. That will enable us to have a few tools on there and applications that will help us when we're developing our web pages. Uh, in servers, we want to scroll down to the bottom and we want to turn on Windows File Server this will let Windows communicate with our Fedora server and we can just drag and drop files into the server from our Windows PC and we also want server configuration tools on that and not printing support uh, scroll up and check MySQL database which will also come in handy for our PHP pages okay base system we don't want dial up networking so you can uncheck that scroll down um, and we can check system tools for a few more useful tools that help us configure the server also if you do want the Fedora server to be in a different language feel free to check the boxes necessary in there and click the next button so now we're just gonna have to wait until our packages install on our web server this um, can take a fair old while so do be patient.
all done, all our packages are installed, so now all we need to do is reboot the server. screen great so now we just need to click forward and read through and accept the license agreement scroll down and click forward now we want to create a user you should never log in as root so we will create a different user to always use instead it's very insecure to log in as root so this is the user we use by, by default and click forward again make sure the time and date is correct great so that's fine so now we can scroll down and click forward hardware profile we can either choose to send this to Fedora or not. I'm not going to in this one. Click finish. Uh, no, do not send. And there we go. That is how to install Fedora on a PC. In my next tutorial, I will be going on to how to configure your PHP web server to process the PHP web page and serve it. Thanks for watching.